Hey folks, this is Bob here, making a video today uh, about uh, my backyard landscaping lights. I have these solar lights now, I have eight of them, and they're pretty much worn out, and they don't stay lit that long. Um, I'm down in the south, so we do get a lot of sun, but and the batteries wear out over time. So my idea is to repurpose these. So what I'm going to do, I bought 10 feet of pipe. I cut it every 15 inches. I'm going to 15 inches of the pipe, put this on top, and then this will set right in here. I purchased these, uh, an 8-pack of the floodlights that shine up. The tube is going to go around that. The first thing I have to do is um, cut these into eight pieces. This is a 10 foot pipe. I'm going to cut it every 15 inches. The plan is to set this over the, the existing flood fixture that's in the ground. So these have stakes that came with them. So I'm just going to install these normally, but I'm going to point them all up. Okay. And this is just going to fit down over it, and then I left myself enough room for the wire to slide through. And the ground's probably going to be about right here. You know, maybe about an inch. I don't know. I'll see when I... Uh, start putting them in. The idea is to have the light shine up through this like that. In my mind it's going to be cool but you never know. So the next step is to sand these bad boys down. Just roughen these up. Okay, just want to show the two modifications that I did to the light fixture. The first one is, I did end up cutting these down. I used the Dremel with the uh, cutoff tool disc attachment there. So I just went around, and the, the edges are a little rough, but that's alright. Basically, I'm eliminating the, the bottom part that, that kind of came up and went in and would block the light. This will allow all the light to go right through. Nice and clean right through. And there's, like I said, there's a rough edge, but that, that's fine because the light, it sticks down about, probably about a half inch into the, into the PVC pipe. So you never see it. And the other thing I had to do, since the light is coming from from underneath. The, these fixtures are designed, you know, the bulb is originally up here and it shines down. Okay, uh, so what you need to do is you need to create some kind of a reflective surface here and what I did was, and this is very easy to do, just took a piece of uh, aluminum foil and I just traced out around the edge okay and then cut it out get a nice circle and aluminum foil or at least mine does has a shine one side it's a little shinier so I go with the shiny surface, just kind of set it down there in the center, 
and when I put the when I put the fixture on, it kind of uh, the grooves with these notches on each side. It compresses it down in there nice and holds the holds the aluminum foil. And these just turn to lock it in place. Okay. And then I took like a pencil with a with the uh, eraser in. It just kind of went around and flattened carefully flattened it out so you get a nice reflective surface there so the light shines up and the foil it's in there good it's it's uh, it's trapped underneath the lens and the, and the top like I said when you cut it out it's it's a perfect uh, diameter there okay so those are the two modifications that you have to do to the fixture. Just trim off and then add the foil. Oh, also I'm going to paint these. Paint right over the solar because I'm not going to use these anymore. And you can see how weathered these are. They're in pretty bad shape. I'll come back tonight. We'll see what it looks like. I hope it's a win.